Today's mentoring moment is entitled Desires. God wants good things for you, but getting lost in immediate gratification and the meaningless pleasures of life often distracts you and I from his great plan. Sometimes we look at each day like it's Christmas and we're filled with all kinds of desires. We want the latest technology, clothes, cars, or something we saw on a commercial. These desires steal the spotlight in our lives. Our significant relationships are put on hold. Life gets distorted as our needs get so entangled with what we want. And eventually, you and I can't tell the difference. Our moods are controlled by how close or far away we are from getting what we think we need. One reason we should be careful about the importance of our wants relates simply to energy economics. The fact is, you only have so much time and energy to live. Sadly, we waste much of our time on what really doesn't matter. When we come up with a long list of wants, several negative things happen inside of us. One, we emphasize possessions, which distracts us from the true satisfaction that comes from you and I fully integrating God into our manhood identity. Two, we focus on what we don't have versus who we are. Gratitude is exchanged for an attitude of I want more. Three, we lose sight of our responsibility to love and help others succeed. Four, our focus becomes increasingly self-centered as our wants take priority over all of our relationships. Five, our identity and internal peace is defined by our circumstances rather than God's character. Six, we compromise what we truly need and our wants steal our attention away from our Christian walk. Seven, the more we want, the more we work, and the more stress you and I put on ourselves. James 4.3 says, when you do ask for something, you don't receive it. That's because you ask for the wrong reasons. You want to spend your money on sinful pleasures. God has definite opinions about our desires. He evaluates how they fit into the identity he is forming within us. He determines what's good, and he doesn't support a life driven by wants. We need to follow his guidance and evaluate our desires as well. Let us pray. God, help us want what you want. Give us the strength to achieve your dreams. Forgive us for the times we've let the trivial ones take priority. We want to love like you do. Give us strong identities that help us love others well. Amen. Remember, God is quite the conversationalist. Spend time talking with and listening to God today.